Hey everyone, and welcome back to Turtle Talk Tuesdays. If you are new here, I'm Cheyenne. Welcome. If not, thanks for coming back. For today's video, we're going to be talking about the habitat of red-eared spiders. So, why don't we get started? First things first, there is water, obviously. So, these turtles live not only in the water, but also on dry land. They need enough water in their tank or in their actual habitat to be able to swim and this allows them to move around easily in the water and also to catch and find their food. Along with the wet area also comes the dry land aspect of their habitat. So as I said, reddit sliders live in habitats where there is a wet area and also a dry area. So in this tank, I've inserted some hammocks which the turtles are able to climb onto. That way they have a space to climb up and get outside of the water in order to heat up under the sunlight. Speaking of sunlight, in this tank, well on top of this tank, there is a light which simulates sunlight for the turtles. This is not only a source of light but it is also a source of heat. These turtles are cold-blooded animals, which means they receive the heat in their body from outside sources. That includes the water that they live in and also the sunlight or the heated light bulb that is inserted. In addition to the light as a heat source, there is also a heater inside the tank. Now this heater is meant to be underneath the water, fully submerged which it is right now. And this allows the water to heat up to a certain temperature. Right now, I have mine sitting at around 24 degrees, which is pretty warm, but my room is in the basement, so the water gets very cold very easily. So I keep it at around 24 so that if it does dip, it won't be dipping to a temperature that is too cold for the turtle. In order for me to know the exact temperature, I also have a thermometer sticker which is attached to the glass. This thermometer is able to sense the temperature of the water and it will indicate it on the sticker. To make their tank a little bit more homely, I also added some plants. I stated this in previous videos, but if you missed it, these plants are important for the turtles. It provides them with a sense of security because it allows them to hide behind them if they feel they are scared or also rest on something and they don't want to float all the time. A lot of the times these turtles will rest their legs or their arms onto the plants and it allows them to float a little bit easier. Next, I also included some gravel. Now, a lot of turtle tanks don't include gravel because it can be seen as food for the animals. But my turtles are a little bit smaller, so they aren't actually able to eat the gravel size. But for my tank, I included gravel because it allows them to still try to hunt for some of their food. So their food, for the most part, floats, but some of it does sink to the bottom. With this, it allows them to have to search within the gravel and dig a little bit as part of their instinctual habits to actually look for their food. Now, unfortunately, the gravel also makes it easier for debris or dirt to stay inside the tank, which means it kind of makes the tank get a little messy from time to time. So to help with this, I have two filters, one on each side of the divider, and this allows the water to be clean. And with this filter, I have two sets of filter pads, which remove a lot of the dirt and release clean water back into the tank. Also, like I said in another video, I also have the fish in there in order to help clean up some of the debris because that's part of what it eats. I'm not sure where he is in this photo, but he does help with cleaning up the tank a little bit as well. And that is most of the things that I have in their tank. 
thank you guys so much for watching. I hope it was informative for you guys. I hope it actually answered some of your questions that you might have had. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you like the video, press like and make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos. Alright, see you guys on the next video. Bye!